It seems the rehab never ends. In the last video, we refurbished a lot of parts that are gonna go back on the engine. Today, we're gonna refurb a lot of parts that are gonna go back in the engine. For a moron like me, this is absolutely uncharted territory for sure. take these old, sooty, gritty, burned up pistons and make them look like this. The first thing I do is remove the rings with a ring removal tool. Then I'm gonna use some brake cleaner and wire brushes and we're just gonna start scrubbing these things. And I also use some degreaser and it's just a whole heck of a lot of scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and then some more scrubbing. Then I take out a Scotch-Brite pad and do the faces of these and just kind of use the Scotch-Brite pad in a circular motion and rinse them off with water and then hit them again. And eventually, over time, you're going to get a piston that is pretty doggone clean. Needless to say, this took just about an entire day to go through and clean off the six pistons for this engine. Now we spent about an entire day cleaning up these pistons and they look pretty good. They look practically brand new, but they do have scoring on the side. And this kind of concerned me. So uh, sometimes when you uh, do these sorts of projects, you do this. I ordered an entire collection 
those brand new pistons. Right here. They come with rings and everything. And they're all ready to go. So all we have to do is put these pistons on the rods and we're gonna be ready to go. So that's what we're gonna do now. So the first thing we had to do is take the old pistons off the rods. We are going to reuse the rods. So these rods face a certain direction, but of course they don't really seem to be marked very well. So I took out a pen and marked the rods to make sure that they were facing the arrow that is on the piston and went through and did this for all six. Next, we removed the circlet that holds in our wrist pin. And I just used a needle nose pliers for this. The new pistons come with circlets, so it wasn't necessary to be particularly ginger on these. I just needed to get them out. Once I had the circlets out, to remove the wrist pin, I used a socket extension and a hammer and just tapped on top of the wrist pin and pushed it out. And like I said, we get replacement wrist pins with the new pistons. So I wasn't really all that concerned about any part of this job, except for making sure that the rods stayed in good condition. Once we tapped the wrist pins out, just took a quick look at the rod to make sure that it was in good condition, and we went and did the rest. Now when we take a look at the new piston, we want to make sure that the markings are correct and all that good stuff. Remove the wrist pin from the paper that was in each of the pistons. And the first thing that I had to do was add the circlets to one side of the piston. And this can be a rather painful job. Essentially what you do is you put one side of the circlet in and then you pinch the other side against the sloped section of the actual piston and you can actually slide these in by hand. But it is a rather painful exercise and by the end of a couple, your fingers are just killing you. So we put the circlet in one side of each piston. Then we lubed up the piston where the wrist pin goes, made sure to spread it around in there real nice. We're using assembly lube for this. Then we're gonna go ahead and lube up the wrist pin itself and I'm just going to insert it on one side of the piston to get it already kind of started in there. Then I want to verify that the piston has the arrow going in the proper direction with our rod. I'm going to insert our rod and push that wrist pin down all the way through. Now I didn't put the circlets in them immediately. My fingers were already killing me. So I just did the wrist pins on all of them first. And then finally, when all the rods were connected to the pistons, I went ahead and inserted all of the circlets and tested each piston just to make sure that everything was moving properly and exactly as it should be. Needless to say, my fingertips were killing me after this job, but it sure did feel good to get it done.
it would seem we are ready to start putting things back on this engine. No, really. In the next video, we're gonna be putting things back together. And I haven't ever done this before, so we're gonna learn together. So the pistons cost more than the car is worth. Why would anyone do this? It could only be for the love of cars, and if this moron can do it, you can go out there and find the one that you want and do it too. I'll see you in the next one.